Hi Aries, this is your January 10th through January 16th uh, weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week we have the Ace of uh, Swords, we have the Three of Wands, we have the Seven of Cups clarified by the Six of Wands and the Fool. Then we have the Page of Cups clarified by the Page of Pentacles and uh, the Magician. And we have the Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with pretty much anybody. So this week is going to be tough for you Aries. You will be either deciding between two different suitors or you'll be deciding about one person. Uh, and and uh, if you're dealing with just one person, it almost feels like uh, there is negotiations going on <laughs> in a good way. If you're de deciding between two different people, then there will be a winner. Um, so let's take a closer look. So on the bottom of the deck we have the Two of Swords all the way on the right. This is a card of a crossroads. Uh, basically, like I said, you will be uh, making some kind of a decision, most likely a tough decision. Um, either between two different people or if uh, the person you're dealing with you're just dealing with one person if that person is worthy your time and uh, you know worth for you to uh, pay attention to that person <laughs> so to speak um, so the first card that came out is the Ace of Swords the Ace of Swords is that decision the Ace of Swords some kind of a truth could be coming out in regards to the person or different people um, the Ace of Swords could be a brand new beginning or it will be a very straightforward and uh, direct conversation, a bold conversation, right, uh, about you making up your mind. Then we have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is my uh, card who actually made up their mind. The Three of Wands is um, all negotiations are done, all, thing, all the thinking you could have possibly done are over, right, so now it's action time. Three of Wands is somebody who made up their mind, somebody who uh, decided on something and uh, they are letting everybody know their decision and they're actively starting to do something. Then we have the Seven of Cups clarified by the Six of Wands and the Fool. So the Seven of Cups is either a card of a confusion or not being sure about uh, something or someone or this is a card of a multiple choice, right? So you still could be dealing with more than one person. But it's clarified by the Six of Wands and the Fool. So the Six of Wands is a card of a victory and the Fool is a card of taking a leap of faith. Uh, it's a card of uh, having a brand new beginning. So you will be ending up with uh, someone here <laughs> either way. Even if you're dealing with just, uh, just one person, you will be uh, taking a leap of faith with that person. In the outcome we have the Page of Cups uh, with the Page of Pentacles and the Magician. So yeah, two pages, you could be dealing with two different people. One of them could be a water sign, another one could be uh, an earth sign, but it could be any sign, right? It's just communication, it's uh, you exchanging text messages, phone calls, you could be seeing those people. Or, like I said, if uh, you're dealing with just one person, it almost feels like it's negotiations. <laughs> they could be sending you flowers, they could be um, sending you something tangible with the Page of Pentacles, because it could be something you can touch, it could be a gift, right? And then with the Magician card, the Magician usually is somebody who manifests something. But I think in this particular spread, the Magician is uh, you, somebody who is going to... Um, tell everybody what your verdict is, what is the solution, what is the answer, right? This is you raising up your magic wand right there and uh, you're announcing the winner or you are uh, letting the person you're dealing with, if you're dealing with just one person, that uh, you're taking, you're decided to give them a shot. And that's exactly what I think is happening with the Ace of Swords and the Three of Wands. It's very similar energies here. So, um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting dynamic week for you, Aries. Uh, lots of, lots and lots of communication with those pages going on and uh, lots of thinking that you'll have to do in regards to either one person or two different people. But um, in the end, there will be a winner that we see in the 601s and the full card. All right, so that's what I got for you so far.
Aries, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person or these people, and we'll get you an advice for the whole situation. Aries, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the world, we have the Two of Cups, we have the Queen of Wands, clarified by the Chariot. You could be dealing with a fire sign, another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could be dealing with a Cancer. I think the Queen of Wands in the spread is you, Aries, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And something is coming to an end, some kind of a chapter of your life, but this is a happy end. I don't see anybody breaking up, I don't see anything falling apart, quite the opposite. Something new and exciting and very loving starting in your life. Right, the world, the first card that came out, this is a happy end card, so one chapter of your life is coming to an end, but a new happy chapter of your life is starting. Then we have the Two of Cups, the Two of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love. This is soulmate love, unconditional love, to me personally, uh, this is when two people are on the same page and the feelings are mutual. Perhaps the two of you were going through some kind of a rough patch and that rough patch is finally over with this world card. Or, um, you know, if you got into a fight, you could be uh, getting back together and uh, healing, <laughs> bearing the hatchet. Well, the main idea here is that the love is definitely there with the Two of Cups. You could be moving in together or taking your relationship to the next level, whatever that level is for you. Or it could be just business as usual, everything is fine. The two of you could be traveling this week because uh, the world is everything remote or it could be everything remote, right? And the chariot, by the way, it could be a travel um, or uh, the chariot is all about this uh, relationship moving forward, especially if you're starting a new chapter, especially if you're taking this relationship to the next level. Then the chariot is a card of a victory. This is a card of uh, you moving forward together. You could be moving in together. So whatever it is that's going on in your uh, marriage or relationship, it's a very positive week for the two of you. I'm really happy for you. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Aries, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, or a couple of years ago. We have the Eight of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands. We have Strength. And we have the Four of Swords, clarified by the Two of Pentacles and Judgment. And we have the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, another Aries, Dio, or Sagittarius. Wow, that's quite a spread, Aries. <laughs> Okay, somebody is coming back from the past. I'm looking at this Knight of Wands right there. Right there in the middle, it could be a Fire Sign, another year is the or Sagittarius. Uh, it could also be a Leo, because we've got uh, Strength right next to it. The, uh, strength is the personal Leo card. Or the Knight of Wands could symbolize somebody who is hot and cold, somebody who is in and out of your life. Um, it could be a playboy, playgirl kind of a character. And uh, they are just making rounds. I think, and uh, that's what you'll be suspecting yourself. <laughs> and you're going to think long and hard before you let this person back into your life. Let's take a closer look. So, um, the, the very interesting card is, uh, the, or the most interesting card in the spread, as I think, is the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. The Five of Swords is a card of a breakup. This is a card of a conflict, a major conflict. Right, um, and I'm not 100% sure if this is what happened uh, between the two of you in the past or if this is what you will decide to do after you weigh all pros and cons about this person. So, like I said, the Five of Swords is a card of a breakup or a card of a major fight. Um, the Five of Swords could be also a card of somebody who just says, you know, screw it, I'm walking away, I'm done. I've had enough, I don't want to deal with this shit anymore. So it could be that kind of energy, right? So it could have, it's possible that that's what happened in the past, but uh, you're dealing with somebody who is really persistent because <laughs> the first card that came out is the Eight of uh, Cups and it's clarified by the Ace of Wands. The, Ace of Cup, uh, the Eight of Cups in this particular spread, this is this person uh, resurfacing in your life and uh, the Ace of Wands is uh, all about passion. They want to spend some uh, time behind closed doors with you, and uh, that's what I think the Knight of Wands and Strength are all about in this spread. 
Like I said, this is somebody who is constantly uh, reappearing in your life. Perhaps you get into a fight, they leave, they come back, you make up, you get into another fight, they leave, they come back, you know, it's a never-ending cycle. Um, so this time around, you are going to take some time to think about it long and hard, like I said, because uh, in the outcome we have the Four of Swords clarified by the Two of Pentacles and Judgment. Judgment is somebody coming back from the past wanting to reconcile, but the Four of Swords with the Two of Pentacles, this is you taking a time out and uh, making this person wait while you figure it out what you want to do with them. Um, it's going to be 100% up to you. Aries, I don't really see any <laughs> objections. If you just want to have some time, sure, no problem. This person is definitely good for that. If you're looking for someone long term, mm, I would think twice. Alright, so yeah, it's whatever you want to do here. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Aries, this week. We have the Tower, we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Ace of Cups, and we have the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is one heck of a spread, Aries. <laughs> Something could be coming to an abrupt end but something brand spanking new could be beginning right after it. So you could be quitting your job and starting a new job or if uh, you're looking for a new job right now you may have two offers on the table all of a sudden especially if there was nothing for a month or so all of a sudden you'll have two offers and uh, that will basically shock you a little bit with the tower card right there right so you'll have to decline one of the offers and uh, accept the second offer that's why we have the ten of swords and uh, the tower so something is coming to an end or something you will have to shut down or reject so you could start something new but that's the good news is that you have you definitely have something new coming towards you with those two aces and uh, if uh, these are two jobs, then it will be a very hard choice for you because uh, both come through as an ace, right? Both are equal opportunities, very interesting for you. So what I would do, I would um, just do your research. If you're looking for something long term, see what the company pays uh, in the... Um, like five years from now, is there a, is there a sabbatical? Is there a bonus at the end of the year? What are their benefits? Things like that, you know. Do your research. Don't just jump head first. But, um, yeah, these are such opposite energies here, right? With the, We've got two aces, and the, at the same time we've got the tower and the ten of swords. So two new beginnings, two cards symbolizing new beginnings, and two cards symbolizing something coming to an end. Or the tower could be... Uh, something happens unexpectedly, but um, together with the Ten of Swords, it's something coming to an end, right? But something new immediately starts off for you. Well, have fun. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Aries, this week. Uh, we have the Star, we have the Seven of Wands, we have the Tower clarified by the Two of Wands and the Hierophant, and we have the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or you could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, so I think whatever is uh, whatever you're not expecting has to do with this King of Swords on the bottom of the deck, uh, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. This is either an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or this person is um, kind of demanding. This person is very straightforward, and um, I think when they do show up this week, you will have to react really quickly. They will either want something from you that will require you to make a quick decision or you will actually have to defend yourself or stand your ground or prove yourself to this person um, so we've got the star here the first card that came out it could be an Aquarius this is the personal Aquarius card right the star if uh, you've been wishing and hoping for something this week you'll really have to prove it or defend it right because this king of swords could be a challenger or if this is something you want say uh, in regards to your work or your business then this person will demand uh, something from you that will um, you will have to show for you will have to prove that you deserve it you'll have to 
or it, like I said, they will challenge you in some some form or fashion, right? We have the tower that came out last. The tower is most likely uh, well, what the spread is all about, something that happens to you unexpectedly, right? The tower is the unexpected factor. And uh, it's clarified with the TO1s and the HERF, and TO1s is somebody who has to make a decision, somebody who has to uh, basically uh, give them an answer, right? Or you'll have to decide on what you want to do here. Do you want to defend what you believe is yours or decline it or say no, it's no longer something I want? Or if this person is offering something to you, you'll have to make a quick decision about their offer. It's clarified by the Hierophant. The Hierophant could actually be a Taurus you're dealing with, but most likely the Hierophant is about something traditional. Um, if it's about work, then it could be about signing paperwork, right? establishing some kind of a connection, or this is something serious, like really, really serious. What you're not expecting to happen is actually serious. That's what I see here with the tower and the car front and the star. We've got three major arcana cards here, right? Out of six cards. So prepare yourself. Um, you will be either challenged or you will have to prove something or you'll have to defend something. And all of this is coming from the skin of swords. All right, Aries. So that's what I got for you for this week. Hopefully it resonates. And uh, other than that, have a great week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.